Right now, two companies build littoral combat ships for the Navy, Austell USA and Lockheed Martin's Marionette Marine in Marinette Marine in Wisconsin. If the Defense Secretary has his way, only one version of the ship is built after the current contract. Question is, which one? News 5's Ashley Knight compares the two. Two ships meant to do the same thing, but built so differently. If push comes to shove, it may all come down to which shop builds the better ship. Marinette builds what's called the Freedom variant. Made of steel, it features a wide hull and has a traditional propulsion system. On the other hand, Austell builds the Independence variant, made of aluminum, making it lighter, but also more vulnerable. Its propulsion system has been compared to that of a jet ski, sucking water in and pushing it out. The sleeker trimaran hull gives it superior seakeeping and fuel efficiency. A very non-conventional design, it looks more the part of the stealth Navy combat ship the LCS is meant to be. Marinette is an older company with 550,000 square feet of space. They employ 1,400 people. They recently finished a $73 million expansion program and have the capacity to build six LCS simultaneously. They built their first LCS for the Navy in 2006. Austell, on the other hand, employs 4,000 and has a much larger facility with 700,000 square feet. Austell built its first LCS for the Navy two years before Marinette did. However, it was not part of the most recent contract of 52 ships for the Navy. Austell was considered the Navy's prime contractor in 2009. They've also built five joint high-speed vessels, now called expeditionary fast transports, for the Navy. At the end of the day, though, it's all about how these aspects are perceived by those making the decision. In Mobile, Ashley Knight, News 5. In the meantime, the latest LCS, the USS Omaha, will be christened this Saturday at Austell. Ray Mabus, the Secretary of the Navy, will be on hand for that ceremony. News 5 will have complete coverage of the event and continue to bring you the latest on this developing story involving the LCS and Austell.